Get your very own my username this bacon air plushie at shop.myusernamethis.net today. New Bugatti Chiron, new plasma pistol, new sniper, new revolver, whole bunch of crazy new stuff. Jailbreak just got updated. Let's go ahead and just take a look inside of a, a VIP server here. I believe we're going to be able to get like 200,000 cash free. Well, like, I put free in quotes because, you know, you have to own the Bugatti of Aeron or the old Bugatti to get the 200,000 cash free. So let's go ahead and come inside of this game. You can see Sharon discount 200,000 cash. So you can see here my cash just went up from uh, 124, 200 something to 124, 400 something. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, you might not have seen that much of a difference because I have like several hundred millions, but like you get 200,000 cash free from the Sharon. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys all the stuff you need to know about this jailbreak update, about the uh, like all the gun locations, where to find them. And we're gonna start off here with the Sharon because you know it's exactly where the old Bugatti was. Okay, 500,000 cash. I'll go ahead and just buy it real quick, and now I'm like a broke bacon here again, dropped like a million or something. But yeah, this is what the Sharon looks like at engine level 1. Now we can go ahead and level it up, and this looks really whack, but like, uh... Do we have a second body? Yeah, we do have second. Uh, let's go ahead and give it yellow. Oh yeah, this looks freaking sick, okay. And what about the uh, texture? Let's take off the texture. Oh yeah, this chat thing... Bruh, why, why does the chat even exist? Okay, the chat just like, go away, please. Well, yeah, now we have ourselves a red and yellow Bugatti. Oh yeah, this looks freaking sick. It matches my Tonk outfit perfectly well. But how fast is the Bugatti? Let's go ahead and just do a quick test drive here. It seems like it's about the same speed, like acceleration-wise at least, uh, as the other Bugatti. But we gotta go ahead and put it onto this uh, track over here and see exactly how, like, the top speed. And we're gonna probably do like a dedicated video on that. So if you guys wanna like know exactly how fast this vehicle is, make sure you guys uh, stay tuned, have the notification bell pressed, and uh, subscribe and all that good stuff so you don't miss out on the uh, vehicle speed test here, okay? But anyway, this thing is uh, not that fast. At least uh, it takes a long time to get to its top speed, okay? Just like the other Bugatti does. And. Yeah, it's still going uh, pretty slow compared to the Roadster, at least, uh, like, visually. My perception might be a little bit off, but, like, you know, it's an estimate. And tomorrow or whenever I release the other video about, like, a full dedicated speed test side-by-side, -side, that's what we'll know for sure. But anyway, let's go ahead and go to the, uh, first gun, okay, which is the alien gun. That one probably costs some money, okay, it's like, uh... So I think 50,000 cash may be a little bit cheaper than that, but uh, let's go ahead and just come on inside here. Whoa, 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 there. What the actual heck? Come on, alien force field. Why you make me get stuck? Come on. This alien force field timer's too short. Get unstuck already. Okay, yeah, that, that thing is a minor bug, but like, uh, it's tolerable. Let's go ahead and come over here, and you can see we have ourselves, uh, this gun and this gun. So this is the uh, old force field gun. If I use it right now, you can see it just spawns the force field and you go inside and heal up. This one is 50,000 cash, plasma pistol, 3, 2, 1, boom. Okay, let's see what it does out here, okay? So number 6, activating this thing, and let's see what happens. Oh yeah, that looks freaking sick. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and come over here to the prison. I got myself some uh, criminals or prisoners to come and uh, test out the uh, gun on. So let's see exactly how well it performs. Okay, let's go ahead and move it over here. I'll zoom into first person, just have him like pickpocket me or something like that. Alright, this guy is uh, now guilty. Okay, uh, let's see. They're all gonna be chasing after me. But you can see, I believe it's doing something like, uh, three damage per hit, okay? I don't want to lose my police officer status, so I'm gonna go and just bait, like, some of these guys through the police station, okay? They're all just following me. This is an absolute, like, mob of, like, criminals here, okay? Now we can go ahead and just safely, uh, you know, oof these guys, okay? Here's this guy, okay, don't oof me, man. Why, what this guy doing? This gun's honestly kind of trash, okay? Because it only does, like, what? Three damage per hit, so, uh, yeah. Okay, so here's this random criminal here. Okay, let's go ahead and do, like, a quick distance test. Like, I'm gonna go and use a regular pistol here. You can see regular pistol does about, like, uh, 15 damage per hit. And uh, I'll go ahead and just keep on backing up, and you can see the damage is fairly consistent. What about the new pistol? Alright, uh, definitely the recoil's in first person now, okay. That's not good. Okay, the old pistol does not have any recoil in first person. 
What about the shotgun? Oh, shotgun is recoil in first person now. That's not good. No, Asimo fixed it. No, 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 no. Asimo, why you do this? I like the old shotgun better. Wait, is the shotgun, like, nerfed? Hold up. Dude, the shotgun doesn't do any damage. Like, it literally does nothing. Hold up. Uh, stay still. I, I need to test this out. The shotgun might be, like, nerfed to freaking heck. Dude, shotgun doesn't... Okay. I think the shotgun is legitimately broken. Shoddy is broke. Yeah, guys, don't use a shotgun. It only does three damage. It literally only does three damage. How did they not catch this in testing? I see my bad CC. What are you doing with the bugs? You said this game was bug free. We're like mostly, but this is a big bug. Okay, well, actually, it's not really that big of a bug because now people will actually be able to use like other guns like this one. So hold up, did this damage change? Uh, no, I think it's still, uh, like, six damage with this one. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and just, uh, keep- Whoa, lightning just- Whoa, there. I think someone just got lightning zapped. No, 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 that was the, uh, plasma pistol. But you can see here, plasma pistol does, uh, 60 and a full load of 20, so that means, uh, three damage per shot here. Okay, so now let's go ahead and show you guys where the, uh, new sniper is. Because everyone probably loves the sniper rifle. Okay. I need a criminal to come open up the uh, bank, okay? So, you guys probably don't know where the bank is. It's like in the city, like to the left. Over here, we have ourselves the sniper gun. So, here is the sniper rifle, okay? It's right over here. This guy over here keeps trying to oof me. So, I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can just, uh... I'm not even... Okay, the right-click thing's really annoying. I can't change my camera without, like, scoping. So, uh, yeah, like, it's, it's really funky, okay? I really wish scoping was, like, its own dedicated thing. But let's go ahead and just zoom into here. Oh, whoa, the scope is, uh, really interesting. Okay, there's that guy. Okay, yeah, I definitely haven't, like, really played this much. So, uh, it's gonna take a while to get used to. Okay, I think I might have headshot that bacon. How much is a headshot? Okay, that, that headshot doesn't even, like, it doesn't even fully kill people when you headshot them. What the heck? Why, why is it like this? Headshot should be an instant kill. Like, seriously, it'll, it'll help with campers. You know, like, camper cops at the roof of jewelry store. But yeah, first impression after using the sniper, the, uh, field of view inside of the scope, it feels way too narrow, okay? Is it just me, or does it just feel really funny, okay? Just, like, way, way, way too small, okay? Like, it just, the bank closed already. Come on, guys, why did you make the bank close? Now we gotta, like, wait, like, forever for it to us to get, like, more stuff, okay? But you know what? I think there's another gun in the museum. Muslim. Everyone to the museum right now, okay? This instant. We're gonna see if there's a revolver in here, okay? Because I'm pretty sure people have been hinting that revolver's in the museum. And I want to make sure if this, like, it's actually true, then, you know, we have to prove it true, okay? So, everybody to the museum. Okay, so now that the museum is open, let's go ahead and, uh, just drop on inside. I hope Asimo passed this glitch. Please pass this glitch, Asimo. I don't want it to work. Will it work? Come on. Bruh. Why does this glitch still work? Okay, why? Why, Asimo? Why didn't you fix this? I told you this was been in the game since the museum came out. Fix these bugs. This is not a... It's, like a, it's supposed to be a bug, okay? It's not a feature. But you can see over here probably... This little gun over here, okay? It's on this side of the museum with the paintings and the donuts that people have already taken. But basically what you want to do is just to come around here and uh, you just click on this revolver thingamajigger. And you should be able to get yourself a revolver, okay? So how much damage does a revolver do? Let's go ahead. I'll test it on this bank. Oh, 25. Nice. That's actually not too shabby, okay? So we can go ahead and now just uh, reload this thing. Okay, I'm gonna have to, like, test it on some of you guys. But yeah, it's, I believe it's a four-shotter, okay? Maybe five because, you know, a little bit of healing in between all the shots. So, uh, let's go ahead and test it on this little noob. One, two, three, four. Yeah. It's five shots. So going back to the uh, Sharon real quick. Apparently there's like some internal view. Whoa. Holy freaking crap. You can actually drive like a, it's a legit car. Okay, this is actually uh, pretty interesting. You can't move the camera though. So you can't really like, you know, check your blind spots and stuff. So obviously it won't be like the best driving experience. But it's something uh, more like better than just this. Am I right? Because <laughs> that is a really, really whack solution. But anyway, we got ourselves a bank here. Let's get ourselves a uh, sniper over here. And we're gonna go ahead and just uh, come and see uh, exactly how far we have to be, okay? Someone stand still here. Okay, so we have this uh, stationary target all the way over here. Let's go ahead and zoom in. And how much damage? Because that's 46. 
We gotta keep on backing up here, like way far back. And boom. I think, yeah, that did 60 damage and finished him. What about this guy over here? Uh, how much damage did that do? Uh, I probably didn't do anything. Uh, maybe. Okay, that does 73. So we gotta be a, quite a ways away to get, like, uh, the full 80 damage. Okay, the other cop's blocking away. Bruh, this, this little newbie blocking my way. Okay, yeah, you have to be, like, pretty far away to get 80 damage on there. So, uh, yeah, you can see we can, like, maybe... Oh, we can actually shoot the guy in the helicopter. That's pretty cool. Alright, so where is this helicopter at? Look at this. Man, this sensitivity is so bad. Look how small it is. Okay, normal snipers at least like double, triple, quadruple this like radius here. But dude, this sniper is actually tiny. Look how small it is. It needs to have a bigger field of view. Okay, like let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of the sniper. Me personally, it needs a bigger field of view. This is just way too small. But I mean, you can no scope and it only really works if you're a first person. So let's see. Can we just hit this vehicle here? Okay, uh, I'm not sure if the sniper... Oh, sniper pops tires. Nice, Asimo actually did it. Okay, hold up. Uh, go back in uh, the car because I want to test something. Wait, I need to go get myself an Uzi. So you guys might remember like back in like old jailbreak before this update, the Uzi over here wouldn't really be able to pop any tires. So I need somebody to uh, get in the car in this way. Okay, let's see if this vehicle over here can be uh, popped by the Uzi. Okay, can, can the Uzi pop tires? Okay, so let's take a look over here. Okay, so we have the Uzi's here. Do the tires pop? How many Uzi's will it take for us to pop the tires? Keep on popping the tires. Alright, keep on- Oh! Dude, it actually takes a lot of Uzi's to pop a tire. Maybe that's why, like, literally nobody's Uzi's could pop tires. Because it literally takes freaking forever. And this cop needs to get out of the, my way, alright? Yeah, it takes five loads of Uzi's. That's 75 bullets to pop a tire. Unacceptable, man. It needs to be, like, a full, like... You know, if it's damage based, 100 damage, right? So that means it's a full load of Uzi, okay? Like, just one load should easily be able to, like, pop any tires. Alright, this, this should be easily able to pop any, of like, of the Bugatti or, like, anything's tires. But nope, it doesn't do crap. Alright, so now we're gonna test it against the helicopter, okay? How much, uh, damage before the helicopter explodes? Alright, come on. Come on, helicopter. You can blow up. I believe in you. Alright, helicopter. Come on. Five loads of Uzi's. Man, that, that needs to be changed. Two at most. Two at most, okay? Otherwise, it's, it's just like, I don't know, man. Okay, but we gotta go ahead and come on, like, way back here. Okay, we can actually snipe this guy. Hold up. I think I, I, I'm gonna try something. Fly up. Just, like, literally go straight up. And I wanna try parachute sniping. Because that actually might be a thing, okay? Because, you know, people camping at, like, jewelry store and stuff. That would actually be pretty cool. Okay, so let's go ahead. Okay, this teleporting needs to, like, chill out. Okay, is there anyone, like, down here? Okay, holy crap, we gotta move this, like, so much. Is there anyone over here? Uh, okay, we have people, like, okay, it's moving way too fast. The, the sensitivity is too low. Bad CC, if you're, uh, working on the update, increase sensitivity by a lot. Like, please. Uh, or, or, like, just make the screen bigger. Yeah, you, you need a higher sensitivity and a bigger screen because it, it, it's just horrible right now. It's abysmal trying to snipe, okay? It just actually is a painful thing. It's kind of like how jets were initially. Like, you just had to move the mouse a crazy amount of, like, distance before it would even remotely move, like, any, like, decent amount of distance. Okay, so let's go ahead. There's, a uh... Stop teleporting me. Alright, we got a bacon there over here. Did we get him? I think we might actually have gotten him. Nobody's at the roof of that anymore. They don't want to get sniped. Alright, we got somebody in that car. Okay, we hit them with 74. Alright, oh, we got him. We actually got him. No way. Okay, that, that actually works. You saw body parts here for a second there, right? Okay. This helicopter, I don't like you. I want to, like, oof this heli. How, how long, uh, how much damage do I have to do? Okay, uh, I hit the guy in the driver's seat. Uh, okay, so it automatically defaults to driver's seat guy damage. Okay, that has to go, like, three or four times. Actually, before we go to the top building, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the RPG. Four rockets. You can only get four maximum. And, uh, yeah, so, basically, no more rocket spammers. Good. Thank you, Asimo, I appreciate that. Okay, finally something good. We don't have any bug fixes, like the jetpacking volt bike. Okay, you know what? I'm testing out jetpack volt bike. If this jetpack volt bike still works, I don't even know what to say to Asimo, okay? Because it's been in the game for way too long. Like, it, it needs to be patched. So, here we go. We have a jetpack, and now we're gonna spawn a volt bike. 
It works. Bruh. Why is this not fixed? I, I, I'm done with this game. Why, why is this thing not fixed? Like, it's been in the game for so long, and it's been, like, annoying so many players, and it's just so broken that you'd expect them to fix it already. But no. No, they didn't. They did not fix this game a single bit. Like, these old, like, bugs, nope. Nothing. Okay, no change. Like, look, look how OP this thing is. It, it's just stupidly OP. Like, why does it even exist? I don't even know. But, yeah. It needs to be fixed, and it hasn't been. I might sound a little bit ranty today. It's literally uh, annoying me so much how, how long it's taken for them to fix these basic bugs here. Okay, we might be able to snipe some criminals as they uh, go up the jewelry store here. Or maybe... Oh, hold up. Somebody's right here. There's some... Whoa! Holy crap! They actually went flying. Okay, is this uh that's a police officer. Oh, we hit him. Okay, let's see. Where, where's this guy going? Where's this guy going? We actually got him. Takes some getting used to with the sniper, but like you do end up being able to snipe a decent amount of people. Okay, this guy going way too fast for me to accurately snipe him. Sensitivity is way too much. Like I have to move my mouse like an entire like across the desk surface to like move an inch on this. Like I swear that's what it feels like. But yeah, hopefully these complaints lead to better game experience for everyone because I'm pretty sure most of you guys, whenever you play it, are gonna find something similar to what I experienced. And uh, yeah, so ask them about bad CC if you're watching this. Uh, basically, sensitivity needs to be uh, much higher, basically like the jet. And uh, fix the uh, jetpacking and the volt bike bug because that, that's annoying. Fix the rope bug and also like make it so that Uzi can actually like reasonably pop tires because otherwise, yeah, it's not that good, okay? But anyway, that's basically all I have for the update. The revolvers in the museum were like the donuts are. The uh, snipers inside of the bank. The rocket launcher's been nerfed. Thank you for nerfing the rocket launcher. I am sick and tired of rocket spammers. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and boom. Okay, we got this guy over here. Uh, they're all just driving behind that building now. Okay, they're, they're, they're a little bit scared. Okay, wh where's this guy going? Oh, this guy trying to hide under the building, huh? Yeah, he's really scared of the sniper boy. So, uh, yeah, I wonder exactly how good the sniper will be. In the nighttime, <laughs> that's a problem. Where the actual heck am I supposed to be, like, sniping at right now? Uh, yeah, that might be a little bit of a minor problem. But anyway... The update is uh, mostly good, just like some minor inconveniences and stuff that just like uh, I'm not really used to from like, you know, playing a mad paintball in other games that had snipers in them. The snipers in Jailbreak are just a little bit different and it's just uh, not quite what you expect. So if a Simo Bad CC makes some slight changes, it's gonna be like amazing, okay? Hopefully like uh, when the video releases on this day if you're watching it, you'll release some fixes later today to uh, fix all these bugs, alright? So if you guys enjoyed it, you guys know exactly what to do, hit like, comment, subscribe, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>